Alright guys, welcome back to more PS6 Master League. Today we are going to be uh, playing Chelsea in the hypothetical Charity Shield, but before we do that, we need to go to the negotiations, guys. Today, before we uh, do anything though, it's time to say goodbye to free players, guys. Free... Well, actually, not free. M more like one very... I was about to say free very loved players, but it's actually more like one very loved player, which is Simic. Simic is going to be uh, departing us um, because, let's face it, look at that. He's on the decline. and um, But he's had a good couple of years at the club. And um, thank you a lot, Simic. Thank you very much for your services. There you go. He's got a league title under his belt, though, and a uh, FA Cup win, so not too bad for him. Um... Yeah, the second one is going to be uh, Tom's or Foms. He don't think he ever played for us. <laughs> How old is he? He's 26. He'd be better off somewhere else, though. I think he's declining because he's not playing or whatever. But, yep, he's going to go as well now that we've got Cruel. And the last one is going to be uh, Bur Burindelli. Uh, he's the guy who we swapped for Yuga. And we got, how much did we get? About 600 points. We're going to release him, um, which is minus 250 points. But when you think about it, we've got, I, I can't remember ex the exact amount we got, but it's around about 400-ish points we've made from that trade anyway. So there you go. There's free gone, guys. So on to today's transfers. Uh, so the first one I'm going to go for is um, in Barcelona, uh, Messi. I'm going to have a dig at Messi and see if that comes off. Now, the player that I'm going to try and trade for, again, is Vicente, because I know for a fact that we could to be honest i think well, i feel like we've got too many midfielders and vicente has got like i don't know he, he's got like 2000 earning per season and that's kind of a lot so maybe we can try and bring that down slightly i'm gonna go for 6900 on the transfer and there's a reason for going for 6900 rather than 7000 um which you'll see in a moment. So that's going to be the first one that we're going to do today. The uh, second one, it's still going to be in the Spanish League. I was thinking of David Villa, to be honest, guys. But I was looking at his yearly, yearly salary, and I thought that's quite a lot, to be honest. Maybe try it again another time, though. Um, I'm going to go back in for Torres. So I'm going to open a trade, and I'm going to open a trade for, I think, Saviola. And salary, I'm going to bump this up to 2,000. And um, I think I'm going to give them 10,000 transfer and see what happens with that. So that's the second one. Maxi Rodriguez looking at him as well. Hmm. Anyway, at least we've maybe got options in like the winter window or whatever. But um, yeah, uh, group. Uh, let's go to Newcastle. I'm going to try for Martins one last time as well. I'm going to try and open a trade, however, for Barnetta. Now, I know what you're thinking. He's a pretty good player. Um, but we got a lot of, you know what I mean, we got Wasp now, we got Neri Sain, Vicente, that's depending on if the trade, you know, happens. So we've got Hoekstra, we got, um, well, we got uh, a Bonlahor could play on the on the uh, wing if we really wanted to, Chu Young could do that, we got Walcott, you know. I'm going to go with that and see what happens. And I'm going to offer him uh, 2,000. So let's do that. And I'm going to offer a transfer of uh, 10,000 as well. And that's because it might be just the case of the salary needs upping. Sometimes I feel like the transfer money doesn't really matter. It's the player wanting and demanding more money kind of thing. You know, if, if a bid gets declined or whatever, it might be because of that. But uh, yeah, so that's the third one today. Another one I'm going to do is, where is it? It's in Sheffield. Thinking about this, uh, De Santos here. Yeah, now I know what some of us might be thinking. Oh my God, why? <laughs> but he's 19. He's, he's always intrigued me. I'm kind of interested to see how he gets on. So I think he might... I mean, his stats are pretty good for a 19-year-old right there. So I'm going to try this, and I'm going to open a trade for Amadik. I know what people are going to say about that. They're going to be like, oh my God, you're getting rid of Amadik. <laughs> but, but, what you've got to remember is, guys, is that Amadik is uh how old is he he's 25 which you know isn't bad but rossi we've just got rossi we've got um piccolo we got Ab abadal we got company we've got scare or vanderborn maldini for the future you know i feel like we need to get rid of a defender and um 
I've liked what Amadik has done for us, but I feel like maybe this could be a thing that we do. But I'm only going to offer uh, 400, uh, 401, I guess, then, and apply for that one. So um, if that comes in, then fair dues, you know what I mean? Our, our defence is looking really good anyway now, so I feel like we could offload in that area of the field. Now, the last one I'm going to do... Now, this is going to... You might think this is going to contradict what I've just said right there. However, I'm going to try and go for Cafu, but the reason I'm going for Cafu is because he's regened and he's only 17, so he's probably not really going to get a game. And you might be thinking, well, why are you buying him? Uh, because he'd be good for the long-term future. Like, kind of like Maldini. I know Maldini got a lot of games, but Maldini's probably not going to get that many games this season with the defenders we've brought in, but they might be good for the future. So I'm thinking of the future here. Um, let's go for that just really quickly. And there was a, another player I was thinking of, but decided against it. And that player was on the non-affiliated, and it was uh, Babangida right here, who's a, who's a bit of a ledge. He is a bit of a ledge. However, I've decided I'm not going to go for him, because he can play on the uh, side midfield, which is kind of an area that I want to cover, really. But we've got players that can play there, I've decided, and we've brought midfielders in that I kind of want to play and get, give time to. Um, so, yeah, I decided against that, and I decided, to, instead of going for the short term, and fixing maybe, a, possibly a, a right midfield, I mean, we got Maxwell who plays there regularly anyway, and he can just rotate with whoever's available, but instead of trying to fix maybe a, a short term problem that maybe possibly doesn't really need fixing, I'm going to think of the long term future and go with Cafu, and uh, that's uh, what I'm going to do today, and as you can see, our remaining is just over, over the um, the team salary. If all that came through there, so that is my reasoning today, guys. Let's hope at least one of them comes through. Um, if it, even if it was just like Cafu and Desans, I'll say that'd be fine. You know, we can save the money for another time. So let's go to uh, today's game, which is against Chelsea. Here we are then, guys. Wembley Stadium for the uh, what would be a charity shield game before the season starts against Chelsea, so, uh, yeah, um, could be an interesting one, could be, but, uh, yeah, we've, uh, we've gone with Chu Young on the right in midfield today, Maxwell, well, he had better form than Maxwell, even though his, uh, his stamina was slightly low, they've got Cissé up front, I've just noticed Shevchenko, Robin, mm. um, yeah, Chelsea, the only team to beat us last season, so, uh, we'll see what happens, Mutu on a red form, so he's playing today alongside Saviola, Wonder if Muta will have a new strike partner next season, possibly. We'll find out at the end of this one. We get to see the fixtures as well for the new season as well. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, here we go. We're off. Benatira in the attacking midfield. We've got Walcott on a red form on the uh, right. And Robin's stolen that away from Vandenboer there. Um, yes, yeah, Skertle, Vandenboer and uh, Amadik uh, are all on red form. So that's why they're playing today. Uh, Kushak is in goal because he was on better form than Karini. Um, and that's a shot off target from uh, Shevchenko. The amount of strikers Chelsea have got is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I was having a look at their team earlier while I was trying to... I was making transfers, and oh my gosh, it is just insanity. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Here's Walcott, though. This could be pretty good. Here's uh, Mutu. Ugh, side netting there. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think we've got Mbami. He's in a defensive area today, and Ono's just a little bit further forward than he is. So uh, yeah, overall, the depend. You know, doesn't matter really what happens today in the uh, window. I'm really happy with the uh, the transfers uh, that we've made. So uh, can't really complain. It's been a good preseason. Taken away by Ashley Cole there, though. Ju uh, Young's possession it was. Uh, Lampard. Ono tries to get this one down. Bammy, it's Amadik out to Vandenborg. Big ask of him today, but he's on red form, so you know. Matera gets the ball back. Saviola, here's Walcott. It's Mutu's effort. Oh, what a strike by Mutu! Smacks the crossbar, though. Very unlucky. Essien, ball forward to Shevchenko, cut out. Skirtle gets there again. 
He's going to have to try and get there again, which sort of doesn't do this time. Shevchenko goes back to Essien. Cut out by Mbami, though. Here's uh, Saviola. Saviola's just going to run out of Mizzy. And this is pretty good. Here's Saviola again. Oh, still going, though. Saviola. And, oh, Chu Yong, come on. Where was that off to? Swing it into the box, man. That's what we wanted to do, but he didn't do that. Balak, Lampard, Terry, Cavalio. They've got Wright Phillips, Fink playing at right back for them, which uh, apparently the game says he can play there. Whether or not he probably can in real life, I imagine. I, I don't know. <laughs> Anybody can play anywhere, really, when you think about it. But here's Vandenborg. Out to Chu Young. To Saviola. Finds Mutu. Mutu trying to put Walcott in, but it's a little too far for him. Good ball in, perhaps. Ooh. Skittle. It's Mutu's effort, but it's gathered up by Czech. And booted up. Lampard, Cesar is going to play it wide to right Phillips, the right back, <laughs> and a shot there, oh he's off target from I think Shevchenko, <sighs> well, shouldn't really have uh, let him have that but uh, we get away with that chance, Stu Young, his honour, Mbami, good signing Mbami, I really like the way he's played so far. And it's Mutu who tries to play it across goal. And it's Cesar. And Amadik's got to get out to it. This should be Skertle who's getting to this, but it's going to be Amadix. Well played though there. And ah, oh, was looking for a good ball. Chelsea keeping us out so far. Kushak gathers a ball up there, and that's not a good throw out. Cease it. To Lampard out to Ashley Cole. He's going to try and put it into the box there and it's Robin and we've taken it away somehow Kushak good oh that was terrible oh but Benatira that's a much better ball in from Chu Young this time. Robin out of play there. And that's half time. Not a, a great first half by any means. But yeah. Uh, we need to kind of improve for that second half. Second half is off. And uh, we've got 45 minutes left of pre-season. Let's, uh, let's go. So, uh, yeah, we've both had two shots each, and uh, only one has been on target, and that one was from us. I think that was Mutu's effort earlier. But here's Benatira. Here's Saviola. Oh, almost a good ball for Mutu, that, but it was uh, not quite where we wanted it. Walcott cuts that one out. And it's not the ball we wanted there. Mbami. Saviola. Mutu's looking to release him. Oh, unbelievable. Struggling a little bit today, I think, in front of goal. Not like us, really. It's 
Mutu. And he finds Saviola. Oh. Whips across goal, that. And <laughs> Benatira's going to go for it. Which, uh, well, it was you know what? Chu Young was waiting wide there. He was never going to score that. Well done to Walcott there. Here's Saviola. Here's Mutu. Oh, it runs past Cavalio. It's Mutu. Yet in there. Does what he does best. Much more like it. Beats Cavalio pretty easily there. And just slots it away in front of Czech. And Terry and uh, actually Cole couldn't get uh, across in time for that. Nice one. That is exactly what we wanted to uh, get today. And it's taken a while for us to get that, but might get us going now. Might get a bit more confidence about us. Look a bit shaky in this one. Walcott's head away there. And it's Saviola trying to take on John Terry. And Kushak picks up. Saviola. And uh, stolen away by uh, Chu Young. Nice. Here's uh, Mutu. And Mutu's going to still chase the ball down here. Ugh. We all seem a bit nervous or something today. It's really strange. Chu Young. Oh, he's waiting for the run there, and it's Mbami who's going to get a little bit of space. Oh, goes for the effort. Looking for his first goal. He hasn't got one yet, I don't believe, has he? We're going to send on Bridge for Wright Phillips. We're going to send on uh, Aguero for Saviola. And. Um, Woss is coming on, making his debut, and uh, uh, Benatir is going to come off. I just Nobody's really looked great today, you know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those games. Oh, well done to Walcott, though. It's Walcott. He's still going as Walcott. And Benatir misses the target. Oh. Then again, I think if it was on target, it might have hit one of the defenders there. The angle was a little tight, so... Yeah, two changes. Guerra wins that one. Here's Chu Young. And Aguero cuts inside. It's Aguero. Oh, it's taken off the defender and an own goal. Well, I mean, well done to Aguero. He. <laughs> He cut inside. Probably had one of the worst shots you've ever seen. <laughs> but it still ended up as a goal. It was way off target. But um, was it was it Paolo Ferreira someone? Oh, no, I think it was Bridge. I think it was uh, Bridge was in the right place at the right time. <laughs> to take that uh, beyond check, unfortunately for them. That is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Chu Young is going to come off at Agbon Lahore, and that's going to be our last one today, I think. So, uh, Ashley Cole's starting forward here. 
Van der Bors trying to get in the way of it. Oh, it was up to Walcott to clear that. Upfield here, and Aguero is trying to win it back. And we can't get in the way of it. Here's Drogba cut out there. Actually, goal. Whipped back in. CC with a hit. Oh, what a save by Kushak. I'll tell you what. Lovely, lovely effort that. Boy, Kushak to save that one. I'll tell you what. It was, um. It was the other week when, um. And we conceded one, of course. <laughs> Just as I'm about to tell you something, Kushak had that really good um, had that really good uh, saves against. Uh, I think it was Juventus, wasn't it? And um, yeah, he goes and pulls off an amazing save, and then we let one in anyway. <laughs> Unbelievable. Two one game on here. Then in these uh, final moments. Didn't think they were really going to get one there. What a good save. I mean, to be honest, you can't take the save. We might have conceded, but you can't take the save away from him. That was amazing save. And it's Agbonlahor. And, oh, into the middle. We get the corner out of it. You know what? We just kind of want to keep it in the corner now, don't we? Really. Aguero couldn't get to that. Bon Aguero whipped over. Oh, couldn't get the head there. And and Bammy goes for it. Oh, what an effort! Oh, I think it was going in. Let's take a look at the replay. What a goal it would have been! What a goal that would have been! What a save by Czech. The hats off to him. Man, that would have been the best goal on this, like, channel ever. <laughs> ever? It probably would have as well. Can't believe that. And Bammy, he's, he's going to get a long ranger this season. <laughs> he's just, like, man, he's got to. But there we go, we've won the game. Fair enough. Pretty nice, pretty, pretty nice there in the end. What a way to end it off, though, if that had gone in. It was perfect. Man, that strike was just so perfect. It's unbelievable. Well done to Czech, though. you got to give him that. Probably save of the season right there already or something. But, um, yeah, that was a really good game. Mutu was the man of the match for us, 7.0. Nobody really stood out. And Bami did have a really good game, though, I thought. So, um, and Ch uh, Kushak with a really good save. Who knows? Maybe Kushak might get back in the uh, starting 11 instead of Karini this season. You know what I mean? He's, been, <laughs> he's had a really good preseason. Uh, the coach was right to switch uh, mid-game. He went on to make a fine contribution uh, to the team. Well, <laughs> a fine contribution being a shot off target. That uh, led to a goal. But uh, well done. Anyway, guys, we've had breakdown with everything apart from DeSantos. So, oh, well, then I guess we get to save our money and maybe try again in the next window. Then who knows? Maybe we could just go for Ronaldinho or someone again. But that's kind of unbelievable, to be honest. I thought maybe at least one of those would have come through. Um, I guess it's not meant to be then. But uh, we'll see how this guy goes. So anyway, the team's uh, salary has to be paid. So we got 30,000 left. So that's not too bad. We've done some good spending there. Brought in some good players. And we still got 30,000 points. So season complete. Go to next season. Let's do it. Anyway, guys. Here we are then on the new season. And look who we have first. It's going to be Liverpool. How about that one then? So, uh, yeah. Let's take a look at the calendar. Um, so we got uh, Bolton uh, midway through, so Bolton is going to be the last one and we are going to be away for that one, okay, cool, cool, we got Liverpool first, obviously, and yeah, uh, it's a pretty alright start, we got Liverpool, then we got like a few weeks here, I mean Newcastle could be a tough one, then we got Arsenal, uh, Chelsea is on week 10, oh, we got Chelsea, then Man United, um, 
So yeah, that's uh, that's not too bad. We got a uh, spares on week 32, break followed by West Ham, um, and then um, Manchester City. So we'll see what's going on then. We are going to be aware we're at Anfield first. How about that? Nice one. Um, uh, Arsenal are at Aston Villa, Manchester United away at Fulham. Okay. Uh, Chelsea are away at uh, Wigan. Okay. Interesting. Uh, week two, we got Middlesbrough at home. Uh, Chelsea, Newcastle, or the uh, Manchester derby there. Manchester uh, United and City on week two. Liverpool got Fulham. Uh, week three, we got Chelsea and Manchester United there. Liverpool playing Spurs. Uh, Arsenal, Bolton. Uh, okay. Uh, week four, Liverpool are at Aston Villa. Chelsea, Blackburn, United, Middlesbrough. And wait, who are Arsenal playing? They're at West Ham. Could be an interesting one. Um, Manchester United, Bolton, Liverpool, Newcastle, Arsenal, Man City, Spurs, and Chelsea. There, week five. Uh, we got uh, Liverpool at Wigan. We got Arsenal, Fulham, uh, Chelsea, West Ham, Manchester United are at Newcastle. That's in week six. Week seven, uh, Chelsea are at Aston Villa, Liverpool. I'm just basically pointing out, you know, the, the ones that could be title contenders for us. Um, then again, the way Arsenal did last season, who knows? But uh, we are playing Arsenal in week seven. Uh, Manchester United uh, playing Wigan. And, yeah, uh, week eight, we are away at Fulham. We've got Manchester United away at West Ham. we got Liverpool against Chelsea there. we got Arsenal at home to uh, Wigan. Uh, week 9, uh, we're away at Wigan, Liverpool, Manchester United, Newcastle, Manchester City there, uh, Chelsea, Arsenal in week 9, interesting, we've got Chelsea, we're at home for that one, fixture 10, um, Manchester United and Arsenal are also on week 10, that could be an interesting week then. Oh, and Liverpool Everton. Wow, so we've got Ch we've got Chelsea, United are playing Arsenal, and Liverpool Everton. Oh, oh. Uh, We'll be looking forward to fixture 10, and that's going to be a big weekend. Uh, we've got Manchester United coming up, and the fixture after that, which um, is at home. We've got Chelsea playing Bolton. They're at home for that. Liverpool are at Manchester City. Arsenal are at uh, Everton. At home to Everton, I should say. Uh, Arsenal, Middlesbrough there. Uh, Manchester United are away at Everton. Chelsea are away at Manchester City. Liverpool at Blackburn. We're away to spares that week. Um, fixture 13, Liverpool, Arsenal, Manchester United at Blackburn. Uh, Chelsea playing Fulham. Okay. Uh, then we've got... We're away at Manchester City on week 14. Manchester United are away at Spurs. Got Arsenal at Newcastle. And we got Chelsea at Middlesbrough and Liverpool um, at West Ham. So, like, everybody there is playing away that I've just pretty much mentioned. Um, you know, title contenders, whatever. But, um, yeah, Manchester United at home to uh, Aston Villa. We've got Arsenal at home to Spurs on the halfway point. So that's going to be the final day fixture. Um, so all these ones you see here are just reversed on the final day, pretty much. So Chelsea are at home to Everton. So they will be at Everton. Well, Arsenal will be at Spurs. Manchester United will be at Aston Villa. Liverpool will be at Middlesbrough that day and will be at Bolton. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, I think week nine is the cup week and we've got Middlesbrough for that. So that's not too bad. That's definitely not too bad. We can uh, definitely handle that. Um, I think European qualifying is going on at the moment. Uh, but we've got... Oh, we've got Borussia Dortmund, have we, in Europe? Oh, nice. That could be an interesting one. So some of them have been decided already. Barcelona, Chelsea there, Inter and AC Milan. Wow, okay. Um... So that's just the second leg there. So the second leg of the cup, we're at home to Middlesbrough. So we've got the away leg coming up first. Real Madrid and Bayern there. Um, we're away at Dortmund, and that's on week 14. And then it's just like cup matches. So yeah, that is the uh, that is the fixtures for the season, guys. Uh, it looks pretty good. Liverpool are going to be coming up next. Anyway, guys, before we end off pre-season, I go through all the um, numbers for the team. So um, yeah, these are the squad numbers for the new season. Uh, Kushak will be 24. Maldini will be free. Van der Boer is going to take up number 15. Skato 37. Obina 29. Ono 13. Maxwell 6. So some of these haven't really changed, but you know, we've got newcomers. Um, Walcott 14. Saviola 9, Chu Young 18, Mutu 10, Karini 30, Company 2, Abadal 5, um, Piccolo is going to be 20, or oh, is there another number available for him? 4. Shall we make him 4, keep him as 20? 
Go on then, we'll make him four because Amadik's gone now. So yeah, he'll be our new number four then, I reckon. Uh, Pedretti is 20. Uh, Bami, you know, he's played well. I'm going to keep him with the 28 there. Uh, Mafio is 12. Barnetta is 8. Aguero is uh, 16. Now, Bonlahor's done pretty well for us. I'm going to keep him as 23. Uh, De Santos is going to be 33. Rossi is 20. Um, Hookstra. Actually, could we change that? Uh, Hookstra's... Should we change it to 20? Could he be 20? Rossi's going to be 21. Hookstra maybe 20. Uh, Vicente is going to be 11. Um, Niri Sahin is going to be uh, 19. Was is going to be 17. So I think that's uh, the numbers for the season, guys. And uh, yeah, quite happy with that. Anyway, guys, fixture one of the season. We're at Anfield to take on Liverpool. What? Meanwhile, elsewhere in the league, we got to Aston Villa at home to Arsenal. Manchester United visit Fulham. Manchester City are at home to Middlesbrough. Tottenham are against Newcastle. Chelsea visit Wigan. Bolton at home to West Ham. And Blackburn visit uh, Goodison to take on Everton. So, yes, Anfield, big one to start off with this season. Beat them in the cup final last season. And uh, could be a very uh, good game. I'm looking forward to it, man. So, uh, yeah, preseason is over with. Let's get straight on to the season next time. Please do comment, rate, subscribe, and share as always. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.